thank you everyone for joining this lit Intel today. I'm David Lorite, and I work as an integration engineer at SysDate. Um, uh, I want to to show you how I, mo I monitor a CSGO um, server with Prometheus. We uh, describe it. Uh, we wanted to, we started this project because we wanted to describe how, um, how to monitor uh, a full stack of monitoring uh, with Prometheus. Uh, so <coughs> we will have fun uh, collecting these metrics. We uh, learn more about how Prometheus works. Uh, People, uh, the, there are people when they start uh, learning about how Prometheus exporter uh, works, they are confusing because they don't understand very well what are the exporters and how it works. So we want to describe that. Um, and even that, we might save some money because sometimes you create an instance and you, you suddenly realize that the instance you created before was very huge, and you can resize it. So we prepared. So we wanted when you want to know if your application is performing well, uh, you probably could see if your node curl is okay. And then the last step. Maybe uh, you could check if your container has no resources. And last, uh, you can focus on your application. So we prepared a Docker Compose uh, with five containers that we were uh, the project, with the project. Um, these uh, containers are uh, the game server, that is uh, the CSGO server, the Prometheus server, and the exporters. And in this case, for the exporters, uh, we use it uh, for the node, we use it the node exporter, for the containers, we use it the CS visor, and for the application, that in this case is the CSGO, is uh, the CRCDS exporter. The if we are focusing the CRDS uh, exporter, we saw that it posed a few metrics. So if we, uh, which of those metrics we want to monitor? We could start checking the number of people that is uh, playing the game at the moment. We, are, we also could check uh, the map that is being played at the moment also. And also the, the metric in this case is always, uh, always have the, the value one. You can check in the label the name of the, of the map is being played. And if we are uh, focusing the container metrics, and you, when you are focusing in the in the container metrics, you want to assure that your container has enough resources. For example, if you see uh, how the memory is uh, doing, uh, you can see uh, when the starts begin, the memory is increasing. And the, the CPU is uh, more straightforward. Uh, the CPU in the beginning is either, and when a player joins to the game, uh, the CPU increases. And when, when you see the graph, you can see uh, when the game starts and when it ends. Also, you can see uh, which map is consuming more CPU than the others. Just checking the, the metric. In the case of the nodes metrics, it's more difficult to see. For example, for the memory, it's difficult to see uh, anything because the other containers in, in the host are consuming more memory than the game server. Um, on the other hand, uh, for the CPU, it's more clear. You can see when the game starts, when it ends. 
Okay, and uh, a common mistake that uh, we do when you don't know how uh, many uh, resources your application is using, it's uh, creating an instant with more the resource than you need. Uh, in order to take care of this, uh, you can check the overview of the resources you are using and recite it accordingly. Uh, I told you that you might save some money and you can. So, uh, to let sum up, we deployed a game server in a cloud instance. Uh, we got, get the metrics for, uh, with, with a Prometheus. Uh, we learn which uh, metrics are important, and this uh, project was so fun. Uh, I may, uh, the next time I may deploy it in a Kubernetes cluster so I can may, uh, be a true cloud native gamer, but that's for the next time. Um, that's all. Uh, thanks, everyone for listening and uh, have a uh, happy evening. <laughs>